In this lesson, you will learn about simplifying fractions. And simplifying means the same thing as reducing or taking it to lowest terms. So you may hear those words as well. Reduce or lowest terms. I'll mean the same thing. So if we have a fraction such as 3 twelfths, 3 twelfths is not in simplest form. It can be simplified more. So if we, what we need to do is we need to find a number that will divide both 3 and 12. And we're going to actually divide by 1, a numerator and a denominator of the same, the same numerator and denominator. Okay, so one number will divide both 3 and 12. Well, 3 does. But I have to make this into 1, so it's 3 over 3. So I'm actually dividing by 1, which is 3 over 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So if we simplify 3 twelfths into lowest terms, it is 1 fourth. There's no other number that will divide 1 and 4 other than 1 itself. So this is now in lowest terms. Okay, let's try another one. How about 16 over 32? Okay, so we think about what number will divide both 16 and 32. Okay, so let's take a look. Well, I know they're both even numbers, so I'm going to divide by 2 over 2. Okay, 16 divided by 2 is 8. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Now, I have to check again. Is there a number that will divide both 8 and 16? There is. I can divide by 1 again. See, they're both even again, so I could divide by 2 over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now I check again. Is there a number that will divide both 4 and 8? Yes, there is. We can divide by... Oh, I know that 4 will divide them both. 4 divides both 4 and 8. So I'm dividing by 1, making that 1 into 4 over 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now I have a 1 as a numerator, so I know I can't reduce it any farther. So 16 divided by 16 over 32 reduces down to or simplifies to 1 half. Let me show you another way to do that same problem. If I have 16 over 32, I'm still going to divide it by 1. I have to decide what I want that 1 to be. I know that 16 divides 16. It also divides 32. So I can make my 1 into 16 over 16 and do this in one, one step instead of a number of steps. 16 divided by 16 is 1. 32 divided by 16 is 2. 1 half is in simplest terms. I tend to do these with a lot of steps, dividing by 2 and 2 and 4 and things like that, but if you notice that 16 divides both 16 and 32, you can do it in one step as well. You may find numbers such as 5 sevenths. 5 sevenths, I check, is there a number that will divide both 5 and 7 evenly? They're both prime numbers, so nothing else will divide them. This is actually already in simplest terms, so you don't have to reduce that anymore. That's the end of our lesson on simplifying or reducing or making fractions into lowest terms.